Hello everybody, welcome back to the episode of the new so far. We are jumping in again and we are gonna go as regular Isaac Delirium maybe? I know I wanted to do deleted run but I really want to see some of the items from this new mod before we do deleted because obviously that just gets kind of crazy um, when we start messing with deleted and seeing all sorts of wacky shenanigans but I think I might do him next if we see some of the items from this mod but I'd really like to show off the um, some of the cool stuff. In fact let me just go to the mod page real quick and go over some of the stuff that's in the mod. I can't remember how many items are actually in it. Let's have a little look see. Workshop, it's one of the most recent things. It's got warp zone. Uh, 23 new passives, 11 new actives, 4 new trinkets, and 10 new pickups. Okay, so quite a lot of stuff to see. So hopefully we'll get at least one of those showing up at some point. I think it is installed. Uh, one moment. Yeah, I just wanted to check it was installed. It definitely is, so we can continue on with our run. Good old vanilla Isaac and the D6. Why not? Why the hell not? I haven't played as Isaac in a very long time. We only have Greedier Mode and Delirium to do as this guy, so why not give a Delirium run a go? They're always fun, a little bit challenging because you need such a sort of high barrier to entry to do Delirium um, in terms of your quality of run. But I feel like Isaac is one of the characters that has a pretty, stands a good, pretty good chance to get a good enough run. Just because of course we do have the D6 to uh, bend the game to our will, so, so to say. I'll look for a Tinted Rock before I uh, bomb that open to be honest. Right. And see how our item room is looking please very much like that. You watch, we'll get one of the new items from Warp Zone, it'll be an active. That's how the cookie crumbles as, uh, as Isaac a lot of the time. Just doesn't let you have nice things. I do like this uh, this jelly bean, rainbow jelly bean trinket that just does random poops. Um, random poops and farts and stuff. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, but yeah. Okay, we got a lot of money there, so that might be a better contender for our bomb, to be honest. A lot of fool's gold going on right there. A lot of fool's gold. Yeah, I think I'll bomb that. I think that's the most important thing we could bomb this floor. I know there's a tinted rock right there, but look at all that money. Enough for an item, in fact. Spider Babby goes into Play-Doh Cookie. Much prefer Play-Doh Cookie, so very happy to grab that. Um, we'll grab that as well for another full charge. Yeah, I love Play-Doh Cookie as an item in general, so I will take it. Do we have any red hearts lying around on this floor? We don't, do we? Kind of like to go to Cash Room, but without any red hearts, I'm not sure if I want to. Right, we'll go to the shop and see if we want to either buy an item or maybe potentially a bomb. Um, have a little look, see what we've got going on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We'll be very much getting Keeper's Sack here. Um, and then I'll also buy a bomb. And I think I'm going to bomb this in the hope that I get more bombs out of it. Beautiful stuff. Right, then I bomb my donation machine, which I've been bullying the hell out of recently, but I will never stop. My crimes, my crimes will never stop being committed. In the hopes that we can get red stew, which we can, good. We'll come back to red stew in a second. Very nice. And Red Stew is a full heal as well, so we'll go to our cash room first. See what we got going on in there. Unfortunately, one of the more poopier cash rooms. Not much going on in there. We'll bomb our uh, Tinted Rock up here as well. This has been a very good floor. Very productive. We get ourselves a great item. Very great indeed. Tears and damage up. Just for a bit of shot speed down. I like it. Secret room. I'm a little unsure of, I'll be honest. Um, let's have a little look-see. Very well could be here. Let's try that out. It is. Good, good. Beautiful. Unfortunately, a bomb won't hit both of these guys, so... But I think it is still worth bombing at least one of them, right? Just get rid of all of those first. More money is going to be really good for us because, of course, if we've got, uh, what's it called? Keeper's Ball Sack. We want to be buying as many items as we possibly can. So we'll grab Red Stew. That'll full heal us. We get a very, very sizable damage upgrade for a good amount of time here. And it'll make this boss an absolute cakewalk. Very nice. Cracker Jacks for potentially better trinket. Let's see what we get. 
light bulb. I think light bulb is actually a lot better here because we're going to have full charge for our D6 a reasonable amount of the time because we want to hold D6 charges when they're actually applicable. Of course, we want to try and keep our devil deal chances alive here if we can. If we can. Uh, bird's eye is very good. My god. Okay, I'm liking... For Delirium, I'm liking our chances right now. I'm liking our chances. Lots of keys. Nice, nice. This is some good stuff. We'll come in here and see what's what. Um, pay to play. Probably a good idea, but I think I'm just going to buy the Soul Heart for now. Got some extra range, apparently. Pay to play is kind of a weird one. Because we don't want to spend our money on other things that aren't the shop, really. But then again, just spending any money give us stats because then maybe every single key we spend will give us stats i don't know about that we can find out just do it and give it a go that would be interesting if that's the case but i doubt it will be because technically we're not purchasing anything but let's try and see what we can find out shall we more bombs lovely Would have loved to do that with a thingy rock there, but oh well. Right. Might as well play the hell out of this machine to get more money. Dude. <laughs> when I said get more money, I was not expecting that much more money. Holy. That was kind of insane. Money all over the goddamn place. Um, right, we don't have any bombs right now, so we can't go get those golden chests. Deleted, my good friend. Little Steven. Probably going to go Angel Deal still, I think, here. Carry on, carry on. Little Steven's definitely good. I don't want to reroll that bad boy. He's not bad at all. So far, though, this, this run is quite spicy. Obviously, uh, Red Stew, we can keep the damage going for longer. Um, provided we, we hurt enemies. Uh, we'll kill enemies, should I say, on complete runes. Right, so will this give us stats? It didn't. Oh my god. This run, man. What's going on? This is crazy shit. I was like, let's do Delirium. And the game was like, yes. <laughs> let's. <laughs> I concur. The game said, I concur. Because right now, we're at a position where we can keep Red Stew going for a good amount of time. Um, we will take both of these here. Nightlight's not the best, but it's uh, money spent, which is stats, so I don't particularly mind. Froggies, please don't be assholes. I know you tend to be. What's going on here? Oh, it's literally just these little brain boys. A bit confused about who I was fighting there, but there you go. Right. Keep this trainer moving. We've, we've seen item room. We've seen shot. Grab this red heart real quick. I just want to keep moving so we keep red stew for as long as we possibly can. My lord. Pentagram on top of this. We don't need to do Mega Satan so we can... Oh, I was going to say we can blow both of these up. Unfortunately, we can't because we don't have any bombs. That's a little unfortunate. Oh, charge key there that I missed. I'll take that, though. I mean, I'm going to say it could stay open. Nah, doesn't matter. That's a bit of a shame. Is what it is, though. Right. I, I, I should have thought about that. Should have thought about that. I'll have other opportunities. It's fine. Just a shame we've got 11 keys on a run where we don't need keys. <laughs> and no bombs. Nothing going on in here apart from these blood bags. Which can give you soul hearts, so I might as well check them out. Okay. More keys, game. I don't need more keys. I need pennies, really. The minute I've got no coins and everything opens with coins, so... 
I mean, again, ask and you shall receive. The game just heard me there. <laughs> and it heard me big style. Right, pack, pack that, pick that up. Yes, we'll definitely take that. Uh, I'll keep my bombs, thank you, for right now. More pennies picked up is good to me. Bomb here for secret room, potentially. Beautiful. Cursed eye. Lost soul. That's a that's a giga bomb right there. I'll I'll hold off on Lost Soul because Lost Soul is good, but I think I could potentially get something better. Two icy fellas. Yeah, I gotta say I could definitely get more charges this floor and get something better. It's gonna cost us some damage, but I think. Oh uh, wait, no, Red Red Sue's gone now. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, that was a curse penny. That's actually good. I was I was, I was gonna come back this way, so that 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 works out for me. Um, while not great, it is closer to, um, closer to Conjoined, and I'll definitely take Conjoined, so don't mind that. We've got a charge now, so let's go back and quickly use that. Orphan Socks, again, not the best. We could definitely get better. Was there a battery in here by any chance? No, there was not. I doubt we're going to get another charge at this point, but we'll try it anyways. Yeah, Red Stew. Red Stew carried is pretty hard there. Little counterfeit. Stephen Floor, I don't think, has much merit for us at the moment. Yeah, I very highly doubt we're getting another charge here. And Orphan Sox is, un is unfortunately worse than the Lost Soul dude as well, which is a big old shame. I don't think there's any way we're getting another charge, unless we get a charge key. But we can't get charge keys, we can only get charge pennies now, so... We're not going to find a charge key. So we got this pot of gold thing. We'll see how many more rooms we have left. Another cares penny there. I'm not going to take that for now. You never know. We're not getting an angel deal. That can give us a angel to fight, which will give us a charge. So we, it, it, it could technically happen here. It could technically happen. If we get an angel deal, it will happen, otherwise it won't. There you go, it happened. Good, good, good. Uh, we'll come in here. Grab this. It's annoying, because obviously the charge is probably more valuable spent in here. In fact, I think I think the charge is just more valuable spent in here, to be honest. I don't think it's worth re-rolling Orphan Socks, when I could be re-rolling two of these. Unfortunately, not the best, but... Yeah. And then Orphan Socks will go back and get for the speed upgrade. Yeah. Bit of a weird one, that one. Fortunately, we've got Dead Sea Scrolls as our other item there. But it's at least a speed up. But other stuff doesn't really matter, though, because we've got Flight, of course. But let's go down to the next floor. I'm really liking this pot of gold item with um, having it mixed with Pay to Play and Keep a Sack is, like, a pretty interesting combo. I think it works pretty darn well. I like seeing all these various types of pennies, especially ones that are like based off the modded penny trinkets too. It's good that they want the extra eff the extra effort. Yeah, I want to be able to buy as much stuff as we can see, essentially. And yeah, it just means that like basically every single room reward is going to be a penny of some kind. Back up to full charges. Luckily, the fires are doing great work there. Three room, I doesn't, does, don't think does much for us. I'm supposed to be having the washing machine repair guy come over soon, but hasn't said anything yet. I'm still waiting at the moment. Hoping it's not too much longer. Good, good. These enemies are so annoying. I just want to speed through. A golden sack there. Bumba? Hmm. Bumba is interesting, because once we've... Like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to take Bumba. Bumba's interesting. Got a golden sack here, which was unfortunately terrible. 
Uh, basically Bumbo, because we're going to be getting a lot of pennies, and after a certain point, we ain't going to need the pennies too much, so why not give them to someone in need? Someone that wants coin. As long as he can pick up the modded ones, that is. Ooh, Voodoo Head. I mean, I don't really care for it, but at the moment, but, but like, literally, why not take it? It's stats. Kind of, kind of a good idea with the amount of pennies we'll be picking up, to be honest. But I don't know. The all, all stats up is very, very hard to, to to say no to. I'll be honest. If he can't pick up these pennies, I'm gonna have some words with the milkshake boys. Right, you you go for that one, my lad. We're only on Necro ones. We still want to be picking up pennies. Like, right, can you can you take that? Okay, good. You can. You can. Good. They do still count as pennies in the in the game's code for Bumbo. I thought they would. Right. Um, we've seen shop. We've seen item room. We're good to fight the boss here. My God, this run, this run is very good. Especially with the bird's eye fires. I was very tempted to take perfection because of that, but obviously I knew I'd just lose it. Tears up is good enough, we'll take it. I'm not particularly happy with the thingy hearts, but whatever. Right, keep it going. Not had much use to use the D6 at all this run. The game's just been like, hey, here's great items non-stop. I don't even think I did a question of the day today. I think that's how, how far-fetched it's gone. The question of the day, um... Hmm... The real left hand. This needs a nerf. Unfortunately, I have literally no idea what this does. It re-rolled that into a different chest. I don't know what it does, so I can't really take it. Um, spawns a friendly glo um, globin that fights by your side. Chance to spawn a different globin variant depending on the floor. Eh. I'm going to keep re-rolling that, I think, though. I'll come back. Good old little chest. Bumbo, I realize you want coin, but some of them are mine. Some of those pennies do still be mine. Did I do a question of the day there? I don't remember. Just... Uh, here's a good question of the day. Just to answer a completely unrelated... Like just, just answer a question of your choosing, but don't tell me what the question is, and I'm going to see if I can figure it out. Red Stew 2 Electric Boogaloo. Uh, although, I am a little bit upset that it only gave me 9 damage. I was really expecting Red Stew to give me like another plus 20, but... 9 damage it, nine damage it is. Ah, oh, I keep goddamn pressing that. Right. Into the cash room real quick. I know I'm wasting HP by doing this, but still, I'm pretty happy with that. Good old the youth in Asia. We like the youth in Asia. Right, pill, I'm kind for. What, what card was I holding there? Oh god, no. <laughs> I did not know I was holding that. No, thank you. Tofu? And what's the other item? Mark of Cain. Seven times you are damaged to enemies that damage you. Okay. Turfu's kind of interesting. Um, all pedestal items and boss rooms become more Turfu. Kind of funky. Kind of funky. I need more, uh, more money for my shop. It's, it's coming up shortly. Oh, dude. So many of the pennies are goddamn curse pennies. Where is our shop anyways? My butt penny. Yeah, I kind of have a feeling that would happen. Let's take some extra damage there, but it's fine. We got enough money now. 
to buy an item at least. I could buy the Turfu, but I'm a little, little scared of that. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad here. We got the flight. We don't have to worry about most things here. Oh, he still got me though. He got the burnt penny. Be funny if he did different effects depending on the penny he picks up. And then here, god damn it, of course. Why of course? Uh PhD's pretty good though. Oh, I wish I'd have taken that goddamn pill thing now. Why have the pills unidentified? I have PhD. Damn it, I wish I'd have taken that trinket now. I think now I was gonna get PhD. Shit. Anyways, keep it going, keep it going. Right, boss man. How is you? Took all those pennies away from Bumba. Didn't even need to. He could have he could have eaten good this floor. He could have eaten good this floor. Um we wanna take We wanna take this one. We wanna check in here. Very good stuff. See if there's anything worthwhile in here. Nope. Carry on. God damn, this is a speedy run. We do like a speedy run on occasion. Ah, oh, these will do full heart damage now, so I don't think they're as worthwhile. Ooh. The euthanasia doing some good work there. Right. We can speed along. Let our, let our boy eat good whenever he sees pennies. I'm sure he'll enjoy. More luck is very good for us. Why have I got so many unidentified pills? Like, I, I thought PhD just showed you what all the pills were. What's going on? What item do I have that's messing that up? He's almost the biggest of boys. Not quite, though. But yeah, it's unfortunate he doesn't trigger the effects as he picks up the pennies. That would be nice to see, but quite strong, maybe. Two batteries is actually pretty fucking good. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep that. You have that good sale. I like the way he just walks over the pits. He doesn't give a damn about gravity. When, when he sees Penny, gravity is out the window. He's almost evolved. He's very close. Oh, God damn it! Good old, good old womb wrong ways. But yeah, I like the idea of um, you all just answering a random question that I don't have, that I don't know what it is, and me just having to try and figure it out. Because I'll tell you what's what's always really confusing is because obviously I don't reply to all my comments on the day that they come out. I kind of batch reply to them. You guys know this already. I kind of like wait two or three weeks and reply to all of them in one go. I, I do read them as they come out, but it's just easier to like batch reply to all of them um, at like one time when I have enough time to do so. So that's going to make that really confusing. Um. Okay. Shop you down. Reroll. Pretty happy with both of those, to be honest. And we'll. Oh, it use it four times. I mean, I could try and get something really good, <laughs> but. I'm actually pretty happy with a decent sized tears up here, so let's just keep going. I kind of forgot about getting four batteries. That's that's kind of amazing. Very, very, very good card to have um, when you've got rerolls. We have plenty of keys and pennies to do uh, our chest openings here. The hush. We are, of course, going to go hush flocks. We're going to do delirium. I think we're pretty much ready, though. The nature's doing a good job. Come on, boy, eat up. Get big before the uh, before the boss fight. You know you, you know you want to. You've got to be close now, like two or three pennies off. What does he draw? Hot bombs, nice. Yeah, there you go. Right before the boss as well. Lovely stuff. We froze you for a long time there.
He drops two items. Crown of Light's very good. Clipper Balance is good too. Jesus Juice is fine. Beautiful, beautiful. I probably should have gone back and got some reroll charges before I did this, but we're speeding along at this point. It's fine. Get ourselves that. We've got a Turk in there. That's Quad Shot, right? I fire it is pretty good. I think Quad Shot's going to be good for us. Don't know what either of these are. Soybean. And that's car battery, I think, which obviously isn't useful for us. Um, right, I think we're good to go here. Wait, we've got Keeper's Sack, why aren't I buying things? I should have just bought things for the sake of buying things, right? I'm stupid. Kind of forgot we had that. Yeah, Quad Shot is doing a good job here. A lot of my uh, fires seem to be going behind me for some reason. Outrun. Oh, wait. Soybean makes us fart. Every time we fart, we shoot a fire out in a random direction. Very good stuff. Now we've lined that direction up with him. It's very, very good stuff, this. We'll be doing a hell of a lot of damage here. Crown of Light, obviously, the fact that's doubling our damage as well, until we get hit at least. The fire should keep us mostly safe. We've got to be careful in Nightlight, though. Nightlight can screw us so hard. Try and leave it aimed behind me. <laughs> got to be careful when the flies come out as well, because they just kind of don't care and go straight into you. Oh, also, look at all the Linger Bean things as well. That's actually really good. Oh, dude, my nose is bleeding. One second. I may sound a little bit more nasally now because I have a piece of tissue stuck up my nose, but we're going to continue on. I don't know where the hell that came from. Just absolutely random out of the blue nosebleed. Just because, I guess. Just because. I, it happens to me every now and again. Sometimes I'll just like have like a month or two where I just get a lot of nosebleeds for no reason. It's, ha it's happened and, and like I won't have any for like a year. And then like I'll have just like another month where I'll have loads. Weird. Doesn't seem to mean anything. Oh, I finally got hit. God damn it. Right towards the end of the fight as well. Right. Easy. Let's get to Delirium. Oop, I'm getting a phone call. One second. Okay, I am back. Right, let's continue on. I have people around installing my washing machine right now, so that should be sorted. Hopefully soon, although it just depends on how awkward it is to replace. We'll have to see. But I think on this floor, we're pretty much in for just beelining it straight to the boss. I really don't see any need for us to try and gain more power from the other boss rooms. Um, I mean, obviously, if we end up finding some other ones, then it is what it is. But we, we really don't need it with the amount of power we've got right now. Um, I'm obviously, I am no, going to sort of note that we will obviously lose our crown of light and half our damage at some point. But even with half damage, I think this build is pretty well set up to do a pretty good job. I mean, we've got euthanasia in there as well, which does like Triple damage on occasion. And we do have four luck, which is pretty good with uh, with euthanasia. We got ourselves rubber baby. Strange Attractor. Strange Attractor is kind of a weird one. It's dangerous, but it is kind of good. I think I'll probably just hold off and try and re-roll it, though. Um, just because... Oh, if I come back to it, that is. Just because I, I don't remember exactly how Delirium reacts to it. I think for the most part it's fine, but it could also not be. Right. No first time, unfortunately. We don't have any sort of mapping here, so it's going to be a bit, bit of a crapshoot of whether we get it or not. But obviously these bosses should be absolute cakewalks for us. I mean, the amount of fire rate we've got with quad shot is kind of insane. Beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> you add red key into this mix? It's, it's good. I do like red key. It's fun, but it's just a lot of unnecessary, like, stuff onto this run. That we don't particularly need on top of it, so I'm, I'm gonna say no to that for now. Hey, the mulligan. Very good stuff. That's what we like to see. I really like this pot of gold item. It seems at first you're like, oh, it replaces all your keys and bombs. It's gonna be crap, but then you realize there's so many uh, flat pennies and stuff and charred pennies that you can find that it, it makes up for it like tenfold. Like, you probably get more out of this item than you would actually, actually having 
normal drops, and then you get a penny plus the key as well, or plus the bomb as well. Like, it's kind of crazy how good it is. Oh, Maggot, can you just not? Thank you. There's going to be some bosses where you just know it's not going to be the, the Delirium, but we'll just do them anyways. Like I said, it's a free item. Um, yeah, plus two luck up. Really good with the stuff we've got going on right now. Only gave us plus one luck there. A little bit of a lie there, game. A little bit of a lie. I'm not quite sure why you uh, why you did that. <laughs> bit annoying, but oh well. Right. Cover everything. But yeah, I just wish these pennies had like a, a small chance to replace regular pennies every now and again. Obviously, like I said, I realised that would be quite strong, so I understand why it's only tied to an item. Just seems a shame to not have them appear normally. Right. Boss, boss, boss. I'm liking the fact that we've got this uh, repairing heart as well as eternal heart that's going to just keep refilling if we take damage. Because it only takes half heart damage to start with, and if we end the room, it repairs. There's another boss. No delirium yet. Wow, very, very easy boss there. Large zip, pretty good. Double damage shots every now and again. Don't know if that's affected by luck either. I can't remember. Like that, for example, healed up that heart there very nicely. Okay. Check this out. Here we go. We got Delirium pretty quickly here. And of course, straight off the bat with the double boss. It's really annoying when it does that. I don't know really what causes that. Right, obviously, we want to try and go as long as we can without being hit here for our double damage. But it's not really up to me. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on here. It's, it's very hard to sort of keep an eye on what's happening. I don't actually know where the boss is at the moment. Okay, you're down here. Yeah. And then, obviously, we've got Nightlight causing all sorts of random stuff on top of that, too. Uh, I don't know. It's, it, it, it kind of is just going to be what it is. We're doing pretty good so far, I mean, damage-wise. Almost got you to half HP without taking any damage. You can see it's going to be speedy damage even once we lose Crown of Light, but I'd rather not right now. Ooh, he's in base form. Got as much damage as we can right now. Oh, beautiful. He stayed in base form for such a long time here. You've killed yourself there, buddy. You've absolutely ended your own life. Ah, I finally got hit. It is what it is. But there you go. Pretty much dead. There you go. Nice and easy. Very, very quick run. 32 minute delirium run is unexpected, but very, very nice. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was very, very good. And yeah, um, I guess we'll see what we unlock with this. I can't remember what it is. Isaac to delirium. Probably something good, right? Yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.